Good Saturday morning to everybody. Wynn Brown here with our update for Haywood Healthcare for the week ending yesterday, Friday, November 5th. I'm wearing my Holy Cross hat in honor of my youngest daughter who asked me to wear it today for the uh, video. So a shout out to Anya Brown. Uh, here's the latest update for COVID-19 in our region. We have tested just shy of 114,000 uh, specimens, which is just amazing if you think about the size of our community health system. Um, our average testing rate of positivity across the course of the pandemic is 5.1% versus the state at 2.73, so about twice the state average. And when you look at our seven-day rolling average, uh, we are well above the state still at 8.25% versus the state at 1.84%. Uh, so that really has to do with the amount of vaccine uh, that we have in the arms of people in our region, and we need to continue to get people to get vaccinated. Now that children can get vaccinated as well, I urge you to get your kids or your grandkids vaccinated uh, to make sure that we can stem uh, the, the spread of the, of the virus uh, and get back to more normal business at Haywood Healthcare. Um, if, right now we have 13 COVID positive inpatients at Haywood, and you know that's a high number for us, and it takes a lot of work uh, for our team and a lot of stress to care for those patients in our community. So the, you know, the, the, va the virus is still there and we need to make sure that we continue to do all the things we can to mitigate that. Um, there's a, a graph here as well, so you can take a look at your individual towns to see how you are performing in the towns in, in which you live. Um, we had some great celebrations this week. In particular, on November 3rd, we had our 20, 2020 and 21 uh, provider recognition awards at night um, last year we did not we were not able to uh, recognize our our physicians in advanced practice providers in person because if you recall we were in really in the height of the pandemic at this at that time we did it virtually this year um, and we applauded um, longtime physicians for 35 years of uh, service were Dr. Friedman, uh, Dr. D'Ambrosio and Dr. David Havlin uh, were the longtime physicians that were recognized. Um, Dr. Faust also joined us, uh, who is really the a pillar and the bedrock of our medical community, even though he's retired at this time. Uh, and we uh, gave out the, the Faust Pillar Awards uh, for physician excellence uh, that represent our six pillars of values, people, quality, service, stewardship, growth, and community. The 2020 recipients were Dr. KP, who leads our ICU and, and intensivist uh, work, and I think everybody in the community knows him. He was also recognized by the city of Gardner uh, as, a, as a citizen of the year for, for his great work during the pandemic. And Dr. Laura Chen, a uh, longtime radiologist uh, on our team uh, for all the great work that she does uh, to support our patients and the medical staff as well. And then our 2021 recipient, uh, Dr. Helen Henehan, my colleague, uh, who is chief medical officer, who is retiring at the end of this year, was recognized for her incredible leadership of the medical staff. We also had Dr. John Harrington, though uh, retired mainly from our medical staff, uh, still presented his awards. It's great to see him on video as well. Uh, and we had his, the, he re, his award recognizes our advanced practice providers and it's an excellence award. Um, so that this year went to, uh, for 2020, to Wendy Cucci, who uh, works in oncology and also does palliative care work up on the floors. And 2021 went to Marlisa Dotto, who is a physician assistant um, in orthopedics for us. So congratulations to them. Uh, we have the presentations and a link on the video here. So if you want to watch them, that would be great. Um, just an announcement uh, to the community, how one way that you can help us uh, right now is, as you are probably aware, as you know about the supply chain issues for you when you're ordering things online or trying to go to the store to get something and it's not available or it's back ordered for weeks, you know, we have challenges in our supply chain as well, all across the board. Uh, we do a great job managing it, but we are actually having trouble um, getting uh, crutches and uh, walkers right now. And so uh, we would appreciate donations from the community. Perhaps you had a, a knee or foot injury and you have a set of, uh, you know, those uh, aluminum crutches just sitting in a closet somewhere waiting to be used again. If you would like to bring those to uh, the uh, to Haywood Hospital or Athol Hospital on Thursday, beginning just at began this Thursday, and we'll be we we'll accept them uh, Monday through Friday right at our main entrances, and we will put new crutch caps on them and make sure that they get deployed to people who come to our ER uh, who need those uh, and, and perhaps can't even afford them. And so it's a great way for you to uh, give back and support us. There's also a link here. Um, you know our our golf tournament. Um, 
uh, was not able to be held for Athol because of two rain, rain outs, but we do have our Yeti raffle, uh, which is gonna support, support our surgical platform at Haywood. And there's a link here to buy tickets. And if you've ever seen our Yeti raffles that we put together, they are amazing and you're gonna wanna participate. So please hop on there and uh, buy some tickets to support your local health system. And also it's National Radiology Week, uh, Tech Week, and next week is um, National Radiology Tech Week as well. So I've got it twice here, I'm not reading it correctly. Uh, so thank our rad techs when you see them. Um, we're gonna have some information on Monday for how we're gonna celebrate. Um, and then just a reminder that um, we are relaunching um, our Caring for the Caregivers program. We have a number of new staff who might not be aware of that. Um, and so it's a reinvigoration of the gift of time. It's a voluntary program that allows staff to financially assist others during hardship through earn, either a donation or earned time bank donations or through week, weekly paid role deduction. So um, for staff who wanna to contribute to that, and you know we have a lot of staff that are struggling these days uh, throughout the pandemic and it's a way for all of us to support one another. And there's a link here for our staff to take a look. Um, just a reminder that we have a new patient portal website for Athena for those who are uh, patients in uh, Haywood Medical Group. Um, there's a link here for you to take a look at that. A reminder to staff that our mandatory education uh, is due by November 11th to complete that online. And on November 15th, once you finish that, we will have our, our annual employee engagement survey going out. So a lot going on around Haywood Healthcare uh, for the community and also internally for staff. So uh, share this video widely with your colleagues and with the community so that they know what's going on as we continue our journey to be one of the best independent community-owned health systems in America. Have a great weekend, everyone.